Hi guys, this is Joyce from Enjoy Scrapping 2. Today I'm going to be reviewing these Just Add Color coloring books. I picked these up. I picked up three. That's all I found. I picked these up at Ross's for $5.99, which is a fantastic deal. So I wanted to go ahead and share with you guys. So then I got the butterflies. I got the flower in nature. And I thought this was cool. I've never seen something like it. This is a fashion design. I haven't uh, colored this one at all. Just uh, this one. I did do the coloring on the other ones. But I thought this is so fun. Look at all the uh, designs of um, like uh, different clothing, different like fashion, like looks like models. So you can color it and I thought maybe I can uh, use it on my art journal pages. So that's super fun. This was uh, something really new to me. I haven't seen some anything like it. Well, that's probably because I buy most of my coloring books online because um, just not enough places to, uh, that sells it. So I got lucky when I found these. I was super excited. You might uh, have already seen these coloring books, but just in case, I'm super excited about this one. Bunny, this is the most, uh, the one that excites me the most, and I haven't um, colored any yet. So there you go. Okay, now to the um, flower in nature. It's absolutely gorgeous. The paper on this is um, like a normal coloring book paper. It's not that bad. The uh, designs are gorgeous as you can see here. So all the florals and this is so cool. I really like this one. Probably want to color that with my ink tense pencils. I can show you here. I colored some. This is using the watercolor pencils. I uh, also purchased um, these here. The Stedler. I have the watercolor pencils and the regular color pencils. I also found these. Oh, this one was from TJ Maxx. I uh, this one was $7.99 but they overcharged me I paid $9.99 and then the watercolor one was $9.99 but um, I actually overpaid for these because on Amazon I found this for like $5.99 and this was like $6.99 or something like that so you can find them a lot cheaper elsewhere uh, but do I recommend them um, I didn't really care for the color pencils, uh, but the watercolor pencils were not bad. But um, mm, I don't know about this. If you want me to do a review on these, I definitely could. But um, here I use the watercolor pencils and a blending uh, pencils to do it, and you can see how soft the color is. The colors are not that vibrant. So here are the rest of the pictures. I really like that too. So normally when I get a new coloring book, I try all different types of mediums on it to see what works and what doesn't. And because I just picked these up, I didn't get a chance to do too much coloring on it. but gorgeous. Love coloring flowers, love coloring butterflies. So the butterflies one, I think I did a couple more. So all different types of butterflies here. So this right here is I use <clears throat> watercolors. So this is tube watercolors, and I've used the Reeves brand of watercolor 
tubes. So uh, the Reeves brand is a student watercolors. So they kind of go on a little bit more on the chalky side and the colors don't um, move and uh, blend as easily. But um, this, however, is not a watercolor paper, so obviously, so I just did a flat out coloring. I didn't try to do that much blending or anything like that. Otherwise, the paper would peel up, but I did try it, uh, the watercolors, and it doesn't bleed through the back. It does wrinkle, as you can see there, but it didn't bleed through the back. And there's the rest of the, sorry about that noise. And here's the rest of the other butterflies. So here is the one where I used this pencil here, uh, the Stedler color pencils. And you can see the colors are not that bright. I didn't do any blending and I just colored it straight one color. And that's because that color pencil doesn't blend out very well and it has low pigmentation. So I tried to do the black here, as you can see, and um, the black is not really black, no matter how hard I press it. Uh, it turns out to be like a gray. This dark shade of black right here, that is actually Crayola pencils. So these pencils uh, don't, uh, they have less pigmentation than Crayolas. My daughter seems to love it. I think she likes the packaging, so that's good. At least it, it won't go to waste. But here are the awesome butterflies in this book. So I haven't tried any like watercolor markers with markers with it, um, and other mediums that I normally use. Going through pretty fast, but gorgeous. You can probably find a whole bunch of coloring books at your local like discount stores and things like that. We just don't have too many here in Hawaii. So when I find something like this, this is really exciting. So I wanted to share those with you. And just quickly, I wanted to show you. Here I put out, uh, I did one, two, three, four, five different uh, color pencils that's around the same price range except Crayolas. Obviously Crayolas are a lot cheaper and here is a Stedler. I wanted to show you the difference. It's much lighter than the rest and I could not uh, layer on as much. It's very scratchy uh, but this is my personal opinion. Uh, there's a lot of people uh, that may love it and uh, so it really depends on the look that you're going for and here they are again Crayolas and Stedlers so if you want me to I'll uh, go over any of these uh, pencils uh, let me know in the comments and I can I have the, that Stedler here the Colinor Woodless pencils the Tombow and the Reeves okay I thank you guys so much for stopping by and spending some time with me today. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much. Bye.